Hi, I'm Shiva Narayan and we have, we have with us today Mr. Ashish Jain, Director, Bilai Engineering Corporation Limited. Hello sir, how are you doing I'm today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And how do you find the IFEX this year? Uh, pretty good, it's quite to a level of international standard that I've attended like in Germany and everywhere else. So it's good, especially the Asian Foundry Congress being there. So there are more suppliers from outside. Uh, outside India that has been added value yeah, to it. outside India as well? Yeah. Alright. How, how do you find our pavilion, the pavilion architecture in general? Oh, definitely again uh, to the international standards. Since I have attended, so I can compare to the ones that are in, are in Germany or in uh, US. So definitely a very good pavilion. Alright, thank you so much for that. And um, uh, give us a little bit more information about your organization, your foundry unit and all of that. Um, see, as a, uh, we are an EPC contractor, like I said, and uh, we have a foundry where we are producing about 800 tons of castings. Which is mainly catering to the railway industries in India as well as in U.S. market. Some of it goes to the uh, Germany, uh, German market as well. So we have a go we have a part of global as well as the domestic presence in the foundry industry. How has your journey been so far in the foundry industry? Uh, obviously, as we all know, journey. Uh, I mean, it's not always a rising sun. Always there are downsides to it as well. So we have seen the downside right now. It's a good market for the Indian market, especially in terms of supplies to the European market. So definitely right now is a good time where we can grab opportunities and do better. All right. So you're saying the timing is perfect. All right. Have you attended any of the technical sessions so far? No, I just came today. No, no. Okay. Um, now, um, how long have you been associated with Forays as your supplier? For us, uh, I think uh, we have been associated for the past six to seven years when we started developing items and they have, as a, it's a natural process, the development, continuous use and then becoming a regular supplier. So we started off about six years and the journey has been good with them, it has been a good service. So what kind of products or components do you source from Forays? Basically, raisins for our, uh, basically a foundry is a sand system, so we need raisins and binders. For, uh, so those are the main, major products that we are by, uh, sourcing from. I was going to ask you, how would you rate your association with Forays in terms of quality and service? I would say uh, pretty good. Uh, we can do better because there is always scope for doing better. So, but it's, uh, there, is, uh, there have always been ups and downs. But, uh, there has been less of a down and more of ups, so that's how I would say. Good to know that. Uh, thank you so much for your comments on that. And uh, you know, we all know that any industry has its own set of challenges. Now, what, according to you, are the major challenges in front of the foundry industry in India? And since you do business with the United States and Germany, you can add that as well. Definitely the major challenges that foundry industry is facing is the lack of technology that we have in the foundry. We are still predominantly a labor oriented industry and now we are facing challenges with the labor as well. So there are a lot of issues with the, it's a growth story. So we definitely find shortage of labor and all because there is so much of work all around. So you are not finding a lot of people to work for, uh, work with us. So you need, and since we don't have the technology, so we don't. Uh, it's not. It's pretty much man dependent. All right. That's a challenge I would say we are facing. So now, what kind of strategies does your organization adopt to handle these challenges? We have, as an organization, has always followed the same thing that we need to go with the technology and with time. So we have tried to add new things, new products, which will help reduce obviously labor and time uh, and handling of material and equipment so and obviously the other strategy in the market has been to add value to our products yes, yeah. and um, what are the future trends in the foundry industry definitely as I said uh, it's your foundry industry has to be a, like a one-stop shop you have to provide a customer with everything at one go not half of it or a part of it so you have to think on those lines then only you'll probably grow in the industry automated system do you think would help automated a uh, solution i mean a ready to fit item ready to wear like a ready to wear garment you don't need to buy clothes buttons and everything and then add to it it just goes buys things and fits it fits in that's how i would say yeah.
Okay, now um, before we let you go, one last question. India is the second largest castings manufacturer only next to China. How do you growth of this industry in India? Uh, very bright future, but okay. with a rider that unless we adopt the technology, we will not be able to gain out of it. That's what I I've personally feel. So you're so saying technology is the key, adap adapting the right technology. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashish, for your valuable time uh, and for sharing those uh, really encouraging and positive thoughts with us. Have a great day at the event today. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thanks a lot.